Hey YouTubers, this is John from Geo Marvel. Today we're going to be talking about hosted feature services. We're going to take a look at creating them through the ArcGIS Online interface as well as digging into the developer subscription site. Uh, hope you enjoy. So first thing you want to do is you want to log in to ArcGIS Online or Enterprise. And you're gonna to navigate to the content page. The content page is really where you're managing your content. And uh, so you can see here, I have a folder called hosted feature services. And <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just find some data. So I have a uh, Washington DC boundary layer here, which I found on the ArcGIS hub system, as well as uh, I found a uh, taxi layer, um, which we're gonna use as a feature service. So I've just got myself some data here um, that I'm gonna, gonna play with, as well as I have the REST endpoint, which if you're not familiar with the ArcGIS REST systems, you should check out our, our REST video and uh, you know le learn a little bit more about here. So first area is you're gonna go ahead and click the Create tab. You'll see here we have a number of options for creating apps and maps and, and different things. So you're gonna to wanna to click on this uh, feature layer option. And in here you're gonna see you can create feature layers from all sorts of already pre-built templates in some industry. Um, these are ca called uh, feature layer templates and you can see here, scroll through here. So for example, if you were interested in, in, in leveraging one of these pre-existing ones, you go ahead and click you know, select on, on one and say create. You get the opportunity to uh, rename this. So uh, in the event you don't wanna call this hazard and you wanna call this uh, alert layer, right? So just say we're going to do a hazard alert layer next and say I want to change the extent. So really it's it's leveraging it as a template and you get to go ahead and, and kind of relabel it. So we can call this the hazard uh, alert layer. Okay. And let's go ahead and it gave me some tags here. I can also specify the folder and go ahead and, and create. So that is one option for uh, creating a feature layer. The next option that I want to review is going to be building a layer uh, from scratch. So let's go ahead and go back to the content page. I'm going to go back to the create, click feature layer. And here you can do from an existing layer. So these are my layers that I have in ArcGIS Online that are just mine, some you know uh, sample data sets and things that I'm working on. So from here you can go ahead and you know click one of these and go through the same process as well. Or you can go ahead and, and create one from a uh, hosted feature layer. So I have this REST endpoint here, which is my taxi uh, the services. We have drop off and pick up locations. So I can go ahead and just copy this URL here. And I can go back and I can click paste. What this is going to do, now this has a lots of data. So say you were um, a different city, you weren't DC, and you wanted to, to map out your taxi drop-offs and, and pickup areas, you could create this for, as a template, right? And so the, all this is doing is taking the schema of this feature service and actually going to be recreating it, right? So you'll see here, I go, go next. And just to look at the data here, you can see that there's are lots and lots of data in here, right, about those. When we create our feature service, it's really just going to give us the shell of the feature service. So the attributes and the, the geometry set up for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename these uh, to, to be something more I understand. And, and say we're doing Chicago, right? So say we're going to do uh, Chicago, set our default here, and just say taxi locations new do the same thing here need to add the tags go click click done so what we're going to see here is that if we actually look at the, the feature layer that's been created it, you're going to see that it has the exact schema and the schema being all, all these attributes here in our created uh, feature layer so you can see here I have my two layers for the drop off and pick up I also have the data visualization tab and you can see here I have no attributes in it so it's just simply created a a blank feature service the next thing that we want to do is look at like building a layer. So we can go ahead and click create. Uh, and there's this option here in, in the drop down that says build a layer. So if you build a layer, you're going to select between a line, a point, polygons, uh, a multi feature. Uh, let's see, this will create three layers, right? One for point, one for lines, and one for polygons. Um, uh, or you can simply just create a, a table. So let's go ahead and select uh, polygons and I'm going to click create. I'm going to name my polygon layer, um, you know, Geo Marvel locations. Okay, and let's just go here in Washington, D.C. Click next. 
and I can call this uh, my layer geo marvel locations layer click next and this will do the same thing so um, one thing that it didn't you notice it, it didn't really ask for was the fields and what uh, attributes I wanted to include in in that layer and so the next thing that I really want to show you is how to during the creation process actually add fields and attributes because if you look at the data display here you're just gonna have the object ID from the ArcGIS online interface or enterprise interface um, if, if you have the permissions to you'll be able to navigate to the fields icon and click add so you can go click add here and just say location name uh, is the name and then our display name is location name right and we'll say it's a string right but we can also change it as a double or an integer uh, or, or you know or any of the different data types that, that they have here uh, so I'm just going to go ahead for string, and so you can go ahead and, and create them here. Now, now you're probably thinking about, well, what about domains and drop downs and uh, you know multi-select? So the place that you would do that is in uh, ArcGIS Pro, where you set up domains, or one of my favorite places to do it is this the, the developer console. So if you go to the developer console and you click here in the top uh, right, you'll see new layer. So new layer is uh, presented here and you'll get a nice UI screen that allows and uh, walks you through creating a layer. So go ahead and cre create an uh, empty layer. And so let's call this uh, DC school buses. All right. And I can give this a, 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 some tags here. All right. Good geometry. School buses, let's go for points. Um, what I like about this builder too is you get to control the spatial reference here. So if it, you do have some need to control the, the reference of you know uh, the geographical projection of the, the layer that you're creating, this is this is a great place to do that. You also have the, this nice UI here for adding field, field, uh, field types. So let's go ahead and say uh, location name is the name. So it's saying no spaces. Right. Uh, and I'm actually going to uh, go ahead and, and say here, I'm going to not do a, a, a domains. I'm actually going to say uh, coded value. So maybe I say we have a DC uh, office. So this will show up as like a select option in collector or one of the mobility applications or in a web application. Right. So we can say uh, this is a select option and um, we have domain values for um, maybe some specified domains that we want to so I'm going to go ahead and add to there and then don't forget to click this add uh, field button so you can go set here and uh, let's go for time open so uh, maybe we put our hours of operation let's go for a uh, date and then maybe we say a range and we could say our, our, our minimum range uh, is we're open you know, uh, maybe we want to just say Monday through Friday, right? Okay, so you can select between a date range. Um, moving on, you'll have uh, the ability to, to configure all of your sharing states, whether it's public or private, uh, what groups uh, it has access to, who can edit it, whether it has sync uh, capabilities. There's a lot of great configurations here. So let's go ahead and, and just create this layer. And you'll notice if we head back over to, to ArcGIS Online and I go back to my content, you're going to see that this layer ultimately, uh, once it's done, uh, uh, I'm going to click uh, open in ArcGIS Online, will be part of my uh, content. And um, I'm able to, you know, visualize it and see, uh, you can see here my attributes that I have configured, the time opened. and. Yeah, so that is a little bit about creating hosted feature services in ArcGIS Online. Hey, I hope you liked the video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate it. See you in the next video.